Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a very interesting topic and in fact, you can say this is the second part of my previous video where I have already shown you that how you can do the live streaming of ESP32 Cam onto the VLC media player as well as onto the Blink application. So that's all that we have seen in the previous video. But this time I have come up with a very interesting topic and in fact, you can say that is a very important topic that you require while doing this live video streaming. <clears throat> because in the last video where I have shown you that how you can do the live streaming of the video from ESP32 cam onto the Blink application there there was one uh, problem you can say and that problem was that currently you were able to access your ESP32 cam live streaming locally in fact if you are connected to the same network then only you are able to connect to that service otherwise you will not be able to access that so in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do this, uh, let's say how you can remove this problem and how you can make it globally accessible. Sounds interesting, right? So in this video, this is what we are going to do. And here I will show you that how you can uh, make or let's say how you can convert your local IP address to the global IP address. So that is all that I will be showing to you in today's session so that you can make it globally accessible from all across the world. So that is all that we will be doing. Now let's straight forward go to the project and let's understand how we're gonna do it. So let's get started. All right, so in the last video, I have already shown you that how you can upload the code and how you can do the live streaming from the ESP32 cam onto the Blink application and the VLC media pair. So that's all that we have already done. And last time you can see here is one link, here is one stream link that you are getting right now. But currently, as I have already said, there is one problem and that problem is currently you can access this link only locally or let's say when you're connected to the same network, then only you can access it. Otherwise, when you will shift to the different network, then you will not be able to access it. So this is the problem with this. Now I will show you that how you can do the, uh, let's say live streaming onto the global server or let's say how you can generate the global link for this IP address and to make it accessible all across the world. And to make it accessible in this video, I'm going to show you the very interesting and a very simple thing, which maybe I have already shown you in one of my previous videos during the Rasa chatbot. So in there, I have already shown you. So we are actually going to use the ng-rock. So ng-rock we will be using that is actually making your local IP address to the global IP address. So this is how we are going to do it. So it's up to you like whether you want to make it accessible for uh, like uh, some time or you want to make it accessible for full time. So it depends on you and currently just because we will be using the free version of ng-rock. So that's the reason we will be able to access it for some particular time and that will be like for two hours. After that, you will be able to access it for how much time you want. So that's all up to you, like how we will be doing it. Now let me show you how you can convert this first of all. So before converting it, first of all, what you need to do is you need to set up ng-rock onto your system and how you will be setting up ng-rock onto your system. For that, I have already made one video onto my uh, YouTube channel, so you can check that. So in there, I have already shown you like how you can set up the ng-rock, how you can log into that, how you can uh, set up that thing, right? So for that, you can see like here is one uh, video which I'm showing to you and don't worry about the link. I will leave a link in the description so you can uh, directly check it and uh, accordingly you can set it up right so this is all about that and in currently you can see i'm using the linux version so that's the reason i'm working for linux but below that if you will notice you have different operating systems as well like mac os windows mac windows 32 version linux and different version or let's say different operating system so whichever operating system you are working on just go as per that and accordingly set it up so in this way you will be able to set up very easily and after that we can further uh, connect our ESP32 cam for a global server let's say for a live video streaming on a global server so that's all that we will be doing so this is all about that now uh, let's go back because on my system it's already set up so I don't need to do it again but if you want to check it like you can check this video and you will be able to set it up very easily right so let me uh, go to my directory where I already have it and let me make it globally accessible right so for that let me go to downloads because I have it in downloads only so for that, just go in here and in here just search for ng-rock. So just go to the ng-rock directory and in here you will find some ng-rock and the requirements. So ng-rock is the main one. So I will be opening 
uh, like a command prompt or you can say the terminal or for the same location so I will be opening it and in here I have to run this command slash ngrock http space now in the previous sessions I have shown you like how you can do the same thing for a particular port but currently as you can see I don't know like on which port I'm working right now so instead of passing the port what I can do is I can directly pass the complete IP address right so let me show you how we will be doing it now from here you can simply copy this just copy this now go back in here and in here just after this paste it now you can see I have the uh, complete link over here. I have the complete command over here. Now when I will run it, you will see it will generate the uh, global IP address for you. In fact, it will create a global forwarding for you, right? So this is the HTTP one. This is the HTTPS one. Now, whichever you want to use, you can use it. But currently I will be using HTTP, right? So I will be just copying this. And now you can see this is my complete link right so first of all let me show you how you will be able to access it for that just go to a new terminal in the browser or let's say go to a new tab in the browser just open it slash mjpeg slash one so this is the same link which we had earlier uh, like as per this the only difference is we have replaced this part with a new IP address or let's say with a new domain and that will be a global domain right so currently there is one more thing you can see you can only make it active for two hours currently we are using a free version of that that's the reason this is the uh, limitation into that and also we have one more limitation with the ngrock free version and that is currently you can make it accessible for two hours plus you will be able to access only for one system right at a time you can only use one link other than that you will not be able to use for multiple links right so this is uh, one thing and this is actually for the testing purpose you can say if you want to make it global you have to purchase it or you have to purchase some domain where you can completely set it up right so it's for that now we have this now let me open it up hi can you see like I have done the live streaming in fact live video streaming and over here you can see I have my ngrock domain over here right so that means I have made it completely globally accessible right so this is what I have done now let's do one thing let's close it from here and uh, let's open it up again onto the VLC media player or onto the uh, blink application so let me show you that so just copy it and close it from here because as I have already said that you cannot make it accessible on multiple operating system at a time right so you can make it accessible only at single time but yeah we can make it accessible on different locations right or let's say globally we can do it so that's all that we are going to do so let me first of all show it to you on VLC media player and the VLC media player I have already shown you like how you can do it so for that just go in here open the let's say network stream now in here you can see we already have the IP address so let's change it up now play it okay it's not playing from here yeah it's played right so can you see we have it okay I think again we have a delay so I have already shown you like how we can uh, reduce the delay so you can go in here you can go to show more settings and you can reduce the diamonds right so let's say we will convert it to 10 <clears throat> can you see almost we are working live right so this is how we are having it and currently maybe there is some little bit delay and that is just because of the uh, network connectivity because now we are connected to the internet and as per the internet uh, the internet speed is required so if the internet speed is good then it will not give you this much lag otherwise it's fine right so in fact this is almost I think very minor seconds gap right so this is all that we have done and this way you will be able to make it work onto the VLC media player now let's do one thing let's uh, show you how you can do it on the uh, blink application so let me show it to you all right so now we have the link and now we can go to the blink application and we can change the uh, live video streaming link over here as well so you can see like uh, 192.168 so this is a previous one now we can go in here and we can uh, paste the new one right so this is what we have done now go back and uh, start the live video streaming right hello can you see 
like we have done it onto the ESP32, like uh, onto the Blink application as well. So in this way, we can do it. So this is all about it. And I hope now you have understood like how we can do the live video streaming onto the uh, Blink application plus onto the VLC media player and also onto the live server or let's say onto the global server so that you can make your live video streaming globally accessible to anyone. So this is all that we have done in, in our today's session and I hope now you have got a proper understanding that how you can do it. But still, if you are facing any difficulties in understanding the topic, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And also, if you have any queries, also you do let me know in the comment section. And also, if you have liked this video, do click on the like button. And if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel. So till then, bye-bye and happy learning.